Thank you as the moderators and thank you, Yuko. Yuko, bravo to you for what you are doing. All right, they right. I was say, I'm thinking that I think all of us, we shall write to, I don't know, any big organization in America, the White House, propose for Yuko to get a humanities award, not only from women, but from men too, from everybody. Do you agree? And I ask to put a paper there and to sign, please. Please do. Yuko, I beg you, a, a repressed person from a very famous country, Greece, put a paper out there and we sign before we go, okay? And then everybody who's coming here will sign until thousands of, you know, do you agree? Does anybody agree with my proposal? We'll, we'll sign our names and then you write in the, you write in what you want. And yeah, you write, I could write, or, or somebody else would write. My name is Lily Britt, and I'm coming from Greece. Now, people could hear I'm coming from Greece, all this famous country uh, brought the Western civilization, produced uh, Aristoteles, Plato, Socrates, all these famous playwrights. Yet, I'm confessing to you, I'm the most repressed and oppressed woman in the world. I left Greece very young. 19 years old, to come to America because I could not stand the patriarchy. My fate was predestined by my, the past of my country, by the rules of ancient Greece, and everything, all my talents, they were considered a sin. The woman who is hurt, who is an actress, who is a writer, when she, she projects herself is a whore. And when I say announce I'm going to be an actress, everybody thought, uh, she must be sick, and we have to take her to the church, to the saint, to, uh, you know, put, um, I don't know, something, and the priest to eulogize her or something, because I was an immoral person. So I said, I'm going to leave Greece. I'd, what? You are a good, from a good family girl, this girl, we love you, we adore you, you are leaving? I'm leaving. When I said I'm leaving, I didn't have no money, only some talents, and nothing else. I left and I came to America. The life in Greece, even today, is not like when I was brought up, but it was always everything was seen. Don't do this, stay in the kitchen, children and cooking. Even now, I go to perform or I go to the radio or whatever, and when I come out of the room with the microphones, how do we make baklava? How do we about fit, fit a fish? I get so insulted. One time I was ready really to slap the person. I, I did not do it, but that was my impulse. Here I was talking about culture and my struggle and my books and my acting and my music. And then she asked me how we make baklava, an American woman. It was insult to America, I felt. So I left Greece and I came to America young and um, I felt Greece unmarried but with a child. Now was very big sin, as you understand. My father was a Greek general in the Greek army, so if I stay in Greece, I would be condemned and I would not be in front of you to speak to you. But I managed struggling and spitting blood right there to leave Greece. I came to America and my life was also pressed because I, was, I had to obey the rules of a Greek man, which he transferred the Greek rules, right, from Greece transferred to America, like most Greeks and most um, most Greek Americans and most Greece from Greece. But I said, woman forward. I knew, <laughs> I knew that one day I would have the luck to, to meet uh, Yuko and to hear that, and I followed all my life. So I lived with him suffering, beaten up, but I said, no, we, woman, I will go. I will make it in America. Don't care if it's America or or Uganda or whatever place. I have to go on. I'm woman. I'm power, powerful. I don't obey to men. Uh, the ancient Greeks, they said that the silence brings to women dignity. That was, I mean, famous men. Here is Dr. Zolaris and, and historian. Who said that? Pericles. Pericles said that. Women, no, silence brings to men, to women, dignity. That's the way I was brought up. Also, the famous God, I'm sure all of you know, Apollo, said the mother is not the mother of the child. She just carried the child inside her womb. 
the uh, child belongs to the father. That's the, the culture and the history that we, that time, young Greek girls were brought up, and some of us rebelled. No many. When I go to Greece now, I see them all. My, my colleagues from, from the, the school and everything.